Wide Angle with Karen Coleman on News Talk 106 to 108. Now, lots of reaction to the statements by both the government chief, Whip Pat Carey, and Matty McGrath on the comments made on Friday night's Late Late Show by John McGuinness that the Taunashta wasn't up to her job and also questioning the abilities of Brian Cowan, uh, the leader of the country. Paul Somerville, head of client services with Delta Index, do you think Mary Coughlin is up to the job as the minister and Taunashta? Well, again, you know, we get very frustrated talking about uh, these small things by the Irish economy, it's pretty, you know, shock horror, there's incompetence in the Irish government. Like, everybody in this country knows this. It's not, this is not a new story. This week is Mary Coughlin, last week's Brian Lennon, Cowan's an idiot, you know, this is what the journalists are saying. Look, everywhere around the world people are saying this about Ireland, it's not just the Ar Irish people saying it. We need changes, we need radical moves in this country to get us out of the mire. You know, I've said it on this programme many, many times. There's a very good, you know, we're supposed to be reviewing the paper. It's a very good article by Pat Leahy in the Sunny Business Post. Again, just, you know, very simply putting out the numbers of how this country is a slowly going bust. And basically, we are about 23 billion short this, uh, this year, and that is after this budget. So these, we need to make radical steps in this country. And unfortunately, you know, it's like everything else that happened over the last 20 years in Ireland is Fianna Fáil are just going to argue amongst themselves until someone from outside of Ireland is actually going to do something. OK, but Paul, it seems like the changes, they're not just political changes. There is Matthew McGrath giving very convincing arguments about the need to radically change the way our public sector is working as well. That the very departments that are supposed to be overseeing some of these issues and giving advice to the minister are not also doing their job properly. Yeah, but that's you're talking about a radical yeah. overhaul of the way our country is operating. No, this is the thing. They're talking about it, but have they actually done anything? This is the whole point. They're just sitting around, mouthing off, pretending that they're going to do something. For example, I mean, just in this article, they're just showing about the unemployment uh, amount of money that we have to spend. 22 billion right we spend per year on unemployment benefits our unemployment benefits are, yeah our unemployment benefits are three times the size of the uk's benefits now this is just ridiculous we now have our biggest tourism industry is benefit tourism we've got people flying into this country to get our benefits of course we've got to change this but of course you know politicians find it very hard to be unpopular so they can't make radical decisions i mean us at delta index we came up with a, a an idea during the week i'm debating with alan Hearn later on tonight about it which is Nobody should get unemployment benefit in this country unless they've been living here for five years. And not only that... Oh, come all, on. Irish on. people had plenty of unemployment benefits when they used to go across to England. Absolutely. Yes, in, and in this, is what I'm, this is the important point. The important point is that if people with foreign passports are going to come here and get unemployment benefit, absolutely, let them do it. But this is what you, you need to benchmark what they're getting with their home country. So they should get... If you're Polish, you should get exactly the same rate as a Polish person in Poland as you get in Ireland. And that is radical. We need to get this down or we're going bust. The Wide Angle with Karen Coleman on News Talk 106 to 108. Now, I can tell you that Simon McCarthy here is bursting to have a go at Paul Somerville and, he, and, and his criticisms of the poor old Polish people taking uh, social welfare benefits from the country. And many of you have been getting in touch with us to comment on those views expressed by Paul Somerville, who's head of client services with Delta Index Spread Betting. Also here, by the way, is John Isle, business correspondent with the Sunday Tribune, and Saeed McCarthy, consultant on European affairs, and now the director of the New Centre for Irish and European Security, which I'll be asking about uh, later on. But anyway, uh, Richard from Clontarf says, Karen, this going bust comment from Paul Somerville is causing our global reputation to go bust. So educate yourself, Paul, and stop this scaremongering. Start with reading how you will be quoted in the Financial Times tomorrow, where you will see your going bust comments in the headlines. While Camille in Dublin says Paul Somerville is wrong, he says that we spend 22 billion on unemployment benefit. This is incorrect. We spend this amount on the total welfare bill, only a small percentage of which includes unemployment payouts. Also, we do not have welfare tourism. Another listener says it seems the Bryans are orchestrating their own departure, demote a problem minister, cause a backbench revolt and assure their ministerial positions. Kevin from Dublin 15 says, hi Paul, is talking rubbish. I am from Scotland and have lived here for seven years. If you reduce my unemployment to Scottish levels, fine, but do I get to pay for goods here at the Scottish price? Very, very good point. Simon McCarthy, I know you wanted to respond to Paul Somerville's views there before we move on to other stories. Well, I suppose uh, actually some of the textures have more or less said what I wanted to say. I mean, I think, look, the, our social welfare bill is high. 
it is not all unemployment. So the lady who texted me say that, of course it's not. And the second point that you made is that um, if we are paying non, uh, how to put it, non-Irish nationals, right, unemployment, they should get paid what they would get paid in their own country is patently nonsense because people get unemployment benefit that reflects how much it costs to live in the country that they're in. Um, so, uh, and, and picking on one very, very small segment of the social welfare budget, right, is the equivalent of the government shuffling around and firing well, that is two, two ministers of state. It is absolutely, it, do you know what that is? That, in the same way that the, the shuffling of the ministers of state is political theatre, that what you're talking about in cutting benefits for people who weren't born in Ireland, that's a, that's a type of so, societal theatre that just, just makes people feel very good very about, let's get okay. the immigrants. Yeah. Okay. That, 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 email, that yeah. email from the Scottish guy is very, very important because he says, for an example, he can't get unemployment benefit at the Scottish level because prices are too high in Ireland, all right? Now, if prices are too high in Ireland, they're going to have to come down. That's the thing. So what we were talking about is payment of social security. All public sector payments will have to be lowered in Ireland. And if Irish people don't do it and make these decisions, this will be forced upon us in years to come. 